Even if we don't get a move. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider. And today we're going ice fishing. We're going to take the snowmobile and the pelican sleigh with us. And we're going to stay overnight in the pelican sleigh. We use it for a little camp. Hopefully we'll get a few trout for supper. Tomorrow morning we'll get up, we'll have a nice bacon and egg breakfast. We'll just spend the night outside. It is March and it's really mild. We've had a lot of cold weather and hot weather and rain and snow. The last few days have been uh, pretty cold actually, 12, 15 below, which is cold for here. But today it's zero degrees and uh, tonight they just want minus one. So could get rain, could get snow. Either way, it's going to be a great night outside, sleeping in the pelican sleigh. Okay, well we made it into the lake. It's a bit windy, and very bright on the ice. So we're on a big lake here, but we're going to stay on this island tonight. We'll go up on top of the little island and find a nice spot so we can put our pelican slide and set up our camp for tonight. But first we'll drill a bunch of holes and get our rod set up. So I think up in here be a great spot. It's nice in here. A lot of the snow is melted. We'll pick out a nice spot here and set up our pelican sleigh. Put our tarp overhead. And we'll be set up for tonight. Crow's out walking around today. The boys here are coming visiting. Out driving around for the day, beautiful day for driving around on a snowmobile. So what I do here is I use little corks on mine, little wine bottle corks, and I do that so the oops don't get hooked in everything in the back of the uh, back of the box there. Yeah, and when you get there, you just take your cork off. I'll put on a worm. Like that. Ready to go. So this is a star foam, just regular building material star foam. It is inch and a half inches thick, but the key to this is right there. See that number? R7.5. I'll give you some idea how warm this foam is. If you buy yourself a really expensive air mattress for backpacking, they come in four. 4.5 or 5 R value. That's how warm they are. So they're not even as warm as this piece of blue insulation. So this piece of insulation does a great job of lining your pelican slide. 
And if you're ever on a country and you get a blizzard or a whiteout, you can get in there because it comes with its own cover. You can get in there and be warm and ride out the storm. And the nice thing about being on a snowmobile, you can bring whatever you want. You don't got to carry it. So tonight I'm using a wool blanket on the bottom and my down sleeping bag. And I got a wool blanket for the top. I'm just going to change something here. I'm going to put my down sleeping bag in my Gore-Tex bivy sack in case we get some moisture tonight. I will keep the down, keep the down dry. That's a big disadvantage of having down in Newfoundland. It's very uh, susceptible to getting wet and moisture. It's great for one night, but after three or four nights, it's not that great. Bring my chair. I think that's our bid all set up for tonight. Now we just need a fire. And we'll get a couple more trout, we could have supper. There's all kinds of grouse poop around. There's another one. A couple of grouse there.
Got him. Hey, another one. Where's a nice one? That's a good guy. A worm is getting down there. Take it all at once. Okay, well, I brought along a little treat tonight. Since I'm having trout, I brought some fresh mussels. So we're gonna boil them now. Okay, we'll get our oh, get our kettle on. And we'll put our muscles on to get our our fire is all smoky. The wood is all wet. Everything is soaked. Last couple of days have been mild and all the trees got snow that's melting off. And we had a bit of rain yesterday. It's a wild, wild winter. Cold and rain and cold and rain. That's our new climate. I have a little potato with my mussels and trout tonight. I'll put that right on the fire. Okay, what I'll do is clean a couple of these trout for supper. Go with our mussels. Slippery as hell. Ah. Very good eating trout here. Nice and red. They don't got the muddy taste. Really red. 
nice trout. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour on them. I'll put them in the pan with a bit of oil. Spices. I don't think I'll just lay that here tonight. I'll get them boiling. I'll watch my muscles. My muscles are starting to boil. I cut up this old potato for the Grey Jays. Okay, my muscles are boiled. Take them off. I'll lay them down here in the warm. And my tea is boiled, and my water is boiled anyway. I had to tie my uh, kettle up so he wouldn't tip over in the fire. Okay, I think I'll just use my board as a charcuterie board tonight. Eat right off the board. Add some mussels. A nice pink trout. I'm gonna have a potato with it. I got some sour cream with it. And I got some fruit cake tonight. I'm gonna get a cup of tea. Ooh, my tea's getting cold. Not bad. Gotta warm my kettle up again. Whew. Take off my camera. Okay, I had to boil the kettle again because the last one was too cold. Get a couple of tea bags in there and get a really good boiling. Needs a hot cup of tea because the temperature is dropping. And the wind is picking up. There's a little bit of snow coming. We're supposed to have a few centimeters of snow tonight and 40 k's of wind. It's only supposed to be like minus two, so it should be a good night. So there is two or three gray jays here. And I've been feeding them a bit of uh, trout. They take the trout. They leave this little island. They go all the way across the lake and store it, I guess. And about 10 minutes later, they come back again. 
Now they're here again, three of them. They'll get another load and they'll leave again for 10 minutes. There they go, across the lake again. Well, we had our supper. It was good. So now we're going to uh, check our lines. Go we'll try a few other spots before it gets dark. See if we can get any trout. Well, we got time for a cup of tea and then hit the hay. Good morning. We had a bit of snow last night. It's a long sleep between winter dark and winter light. <laughs> There's a lot of hours in bed. Now you got to get up is the problem. And it's really windy now. Minus two, minus two degrees Celsius. We got about a 30K wind. Pretty good up here on this little island. It's sheltered somewhat. Had a bit of snow last night. It's a bit windy and snowing today. A lot different than yesterday. 
So what we're going to do first is uh, put our hooks back in the water. We'll drill a few more holes. Then we'll go back and make breakfast. But at times she's really windy. There's a little guy down there and he's determined to eat all my worms. Be too small to get on the hook, I think. He wants it, but I think he's too small. Oh, oh, lost it again. Okay, I think it's time to get a fire going and get some breakfast. The egg's been boiling long enough. I'll just lay them down here. We'll get our kittle done. And then we'll get our bacon started. Get our bacon going. a good cup of tea today nice and hot now we just need some toast
Now we'll try to get some toast. I got some of these morning rounds. Cranberry morning rounds. They're really good. And today I got some cranberry pepper spread. That's gonna be the best part of the meal. I see that the uh, Grey Jays are back. I'll have to save some for them. And a good hot cup of tea. Mm, perfect. Thank you. 